Up and found there of Sheena Crampsey and through the hard times that loving can bring. And uh, <clears throat> we have our studio guest with us tonight, Colin Moffat. And before we speak to Colin again, just a few more names here for the quiz, the correct answers. Um, I've already given you 13 or 14 here, but uh, some more. Evelyn Shannon, Katrina Hill, Mary Neal, Miller Craig, Lorraine Moore and Helen McKinney. Now, um, I have to apologise if now, Miller Craig and Lorraine Moore I just couldn't hear the thing that several well, so I hope that uh, I've got your names right. If not, you can give me a telling off the next time you see me. Um, but keep the calls coming in, and uh, what do you want to hear from you? The request line is still open, very busy, but do keep trying. You will get through eventually. And as I say, our studio guest is Colin Moffat. He's here, and he has already upset the apple cart uh, quite extensively tonight because he has insulted <coughs> Mina. Um, he hasn't mentioned Jimmy in any of his poems, although Jimmy has set him a target. Colin, I just want to say one thing to you. Um, I was thinking there, uh, well, I think we did this the last night you were here. If there's anyone out there listening, to, well, if there's anyone listening to the programme, full stop. Um, what I want you to do, if you would like Colin to write two verses, two verses about you, ring in now because he's that smart he can do it off the top of his head if your name is um if your name is uh rosemary roberta alfie georgina violet whatever just ring in here to the request line say my name is such and such i would like colin to write me two verses of a poem and at a quarter past ten before the gospel spot uh, the names we have I will pick a name and call him or write two verses and I'll read it out to you especially. There you are. Now what more would you want on a Friday night? He talk about, he can write it funny, he could write it romantic, he could write it on paper, whatever you want. It's entirely up to yourself. Colin, as I say, it's good to have you here and um, nice we're, we're, here, we're, we're enjoying uh, the crack. I don't think you challenged me like that last night at all. You think not? No, well, no, I, no, no, my, my name is not just as good as no, what it was. No. But uh, it's, good to, it's good to have your company because we like the crack up here on a Friday night. Yes. Uh, it's all right playing good music. We need a bit of crack too. Need a bit of crack. No, no, How many more poems have you there for us? Uh, authority, I don't know. <laughs> About 30. Right, well, we're only here at 11. So, uh, Dr. Hillary's on the morning. Uh, no. Have you any there about medical conditions? Uh, funny you should say that. Don't forget, folks, Dr. Hilary Jones here tomorrow from 12 until 3 discussing um, piles and bunions. <coughs> funny you should say that about a doctor, because see that Clifford boy? Clifford. Oh, uh, we all Clifford. Yeah, do you know Clifford? We all know Clifford. The least said the Some, better. Something wrong with that fella. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford goes into the doctor with a carrot in his ear and two chips stuck up his nose. Oh, doctor, I am feeling poorly. What is wrong with me, do you suppose? The doctor glanced at him and said, the problem is, the problem's clear to me. I'm not surprised you are feeling poorly or you are not eating properly, I see. Clipper was about to go out the door and then he quickly turned. Doctor, something else is wrong. My feet are badly burnt. I was making tin treacle pudding and I did what I said on the tin. After taking off the lid, stand in boiling water for half an hour, so I punched my feet right in. You treated me for neitis just a month ago. You told me not to climb the stairs to put a strain on my knees, I know. Yes, you can climb them again, the doctor said as he gave his glasses a wipe. Oh good, said Clifford gleefully. I was fed up going to the toilet climbing up that old drain pipe. You know, I don't know, I, I don't know where you get them from. They just come from the top of his head. So there you are. I'm setting you the challenge now. Um, Jimmy has set the challenge for him before um, half past ten. And also, I would like him to do something for me because you know the way you all love the gospel spot and you all love lovers at half past ten. They're two regular spots in this program. And all these people at half past ten just love the, the gospel or the uh, lovers at half past ten because they, they can unwind. They've had their bath, they've their candles lit, and they're lying in others' arms on the leather sofa, and they're drinking tea, or they're drinking this, or drinking the other. They're not like Francis's house. And uh, maybe you'll write a wee verse for that too. You don't know, we'll have to keep them busy, because any guests that come up here, they get paid, and um, they have to sign a contract, uh, just like the BBC. I mean, they're, they're no better, they're no worse than the BBC up here, I'll tell you that. Anyway, on with the show, we've got the music here, and... Um, this is Alan Jackson. Mm -hmm. 